Today we're going to talk about the UK Corporate Governance Code. The UK Corporate Governance Code is split into five key areas. It has 18 main principles and 55 provisions. And what we want to do is understand what those five key areas are. I use an acronym called LEARS to help me to remember those five key areas. The L is for leadership. The E is for effectiveness. The A is for accountability. The R for remuneration. And the S for shareholders. So, so let's have a look at the UK Corporate Governance Code and what those five key areas talk about. So first of all, with leadership, the first thing it says, the first main principle, is that every company should be headed by an effective board. And that board should be collectively responsible for the long-term success of the company. And when we get on to effectiveness, it talks about the effectiveness of the board really, about appointment, about induction, re-election of board members, getting the balance right for example. The third area, and if you remember the acronym LEA, is all about accountability. So if I was to read from the code, it says the board should present a fair, balanced and understandable assessment of the company's position and prospects. So board members are to be accountable, and we normally see that through the annual reports and statements. Nearly there, we're on to the R, and it says here, executive director's remuneration should be designed to promote the long-term success of the company. Yes, the R bit is about that sometimes controversial area, executive board pay. Then we have the final area, which is the S. Section E of the code actually says, relations with shareholders. And it says there should be a dialogue with shareholders based on a mutual understanding of objectives. So there you have it. The five key areas of the UK Corporate Governance Code, LEARS, leadership, effectiveness, accountability, remuneration and shareholders. I've been waiting on the night like tomorrow won't happen. Call it what you want, but I'll...